Alright. Time for a Nidalee game. I will be playing against a Zac here, which should be a pretty good matchup for me. Potential for early invades, but I think I'm going to have to be a bit careful with those, honestly. I guess we'll see how things pan out. I'm going to ideally clear towards top here because I think Teemo is going to push in Shen and like Shen taunt into an Italy Spear is a pretty free gank. So yeah, I'm definitely going to try to look for that. I could also look for like the Zack invade and finish my like go for like a level three invade potentially or just finish full clear look for invade. Uh, a lot of situations, most of you probably won't be too comfortable like going for early invades and anything like that. It is Nidalee's, like, one of Nidalee's strengths to go for stuff like that. But I don't think I will just go for, like, a level 3 play. I'll just go for, like, a full clear, like, a pretty standard situation to be in. Uh, more consistent as well. So, yeah, just do that instead. Right? I'm just getting no help. Alright, cool. That's fun. In this new jungle, getting no leash actually really, really sucks. Because this new jungle hurts a lot. So not getting a leash, not getting assistance from your laners is really a pain in your ass. And yeah, they kind of just did that to me, so... Rip me, I suppose. If you are on this side of the map, I'd recommend taking W second. If you are on the other side of the map, though, you want to take your E second, because it's going to be better for the camps you're going to clear until you hit level 3. That is not what we like to see. They lost the bot lane fight. I'll just go for the thing that I would recommend the most and just go for the full clear here. Okay, you want to take your W because you want to have your W for this. You also want to like walk your camps like this a bit because this way you won't take a lot of damage. If you don't walk your camps at all, then you're going to take a lot of damage and that's going to be really, really bad for you. But you're going to take too much damage to actually clear your camps effectively. Should have like land with a spear and then get your W off before your trap goes off. Okay, Twitch with the kill there, that's pretty good. Emo is in fact pushing. But I'll commit to what I said and I'm gonna finish this off. For the level 4, the jungle clear. I'm gonna smite here so I can just get this down a little bit faster. That's a waste. He's just gonna ward now, isn't he? I think he just warded. We're just gonna go for it. Yeah, he just warded. Uh, Shen? I'm dead here, aren't I? Yep. Alright, well. I guess it's... This is good for my... Uh, uh, for my Shen overall, because he gets wave advantage. This guy doesn't have teleport. But I was expecting him to walk up slightly faster there, so I guess that's my bad. Oh well. I mean, it, I don't. I'm not complaining really. I don't mind trading one for one. I didn't have my heal or anything to save myself. I knew the counter gank was coming in there as well, but yeah, I, I was just expecting Shen to be slightly faster on the on the uptake there. I'm pretty sure he just warded to try. Wow. All right, fine. No luck snare, no play. Good sidestep there, though, from the Yone. Okay. Uh, this is warded, so I didn't know what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna go for Scuttle. Oh, God. This is not gonna work, is it? He's dead. Yep. Okay, okay. Respectable Zack gang. Can 
at least scare him from the third plate there. I still got it. I think I'm just gonna see oh, ward it, okay. This could work out in my favor, actually. Good, perfect. All I was hoping for. Not bad at all. I'll take those. Very good for me. I'm not. I have no interest in getting any of his farm here. I just want to uh, push this out. Okay, that was my intention. Just take your farm, my guy. Push the wave and get a free recall. That's all I'm aiming for here. I just want to give you a back. You should take your recall. All right. Doesn't want to take the free recall. For him there, it's just best to take the free recall. Got to reset off of it. Buy whatever he can. Get his HP reset. That's why we push it in. Very good rotation there. Or Shenult, actually. Yeah, probably a Shenult. Getting some money. I'm trying to keep up my clear here as well as much as I can. At least. I wonder if Twitch really had nothing to recall for. Because if that's the case, then I guess pushing there is a mistake, but... I feel like anything he could have recalled for would have already been good. There's no wards, that's good. Surely they, this, they're gonna go in at some point, right? I'm keeping my eye on the scuttle here as well. Right, if that hit, I would have been real good. If that hit, I could have thrown a spear twist with a died. I think I might be wasting my time here. Don't know if that reaches. It does. Okay, but then he's dead. Good. Alright, nice kill. Not bad. Also, another thing. 65% of people watching my videos aren't actually subscribed. If you are one of those people, consider subscribing. Checking if you're subscribed, and yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. Smite him out. I am extremely worried about this guy right now. I uh, let's do this. Got some vision. I'm just gonna hold this wall and leave. I think. Yeah, that's good. For, good enough for me. Probably gonna step up. He didn't. Um, if he stepped forward one step, my spear would have hit him. That would have been bad for him. Too greedy there from the Lux. He should be dead. Yeah. Good bait there from, from the Twitch. can have the rest of the farm. I'm not going to do anything else here. Spend a lot of time bolt lane just now to make that, that happen. Twitch should have... I, he's going AP Twitch. Interesting. Uh, Twitch should have his Nashers, I would imagine. I have a jungle clear to do. I also have a lot of money. I'm going to do my Raptors and recall probably to spend this money. I really cannot be affording to walk around with this much money here. Very good play there on bot lane though. A lot of work done. Seems that my Shen is like doing pretty okay in that lane, even though like that early play wasn't, I guess, necessarily great. Look at that beautiful recall, man. Renite Harvester, normal boots, perfect. But I switched. Interesting. This Twitch does not know when to recall, my guy. Like. This, he must have like 2,000 gold, 3,000 gold in his inventory. I can almost guarantee it. Got a nice Dark Harvest proc there, not bad. Like, let, like, he has a Blasting on right now. Let's see what he gets, okay? I'm just curious to see how long he actually waited. Okay, that's like 2,000 gold. That's fair enough. 
Yeah, he had like 2.5, I think that is about 2.5. With taunt. That's exactly what I wanted. That's all I need for that gank. He just needs to land the taunt and the guy's dead because the taunt's gonna hit my uh, Q almost like every single time. Literally guaranteed. <laughs> nice. Got him. Easy game. Check this. Ooh, it is here. I'm just gonna focus the Zack. I don't really care. If he gets red, he gets red, but he's gonna die. Yep. I really like he was gonna try to focus on red and try to get him. I'm just gonna focus on him because I know he doesn't have passive and he's just gonna die. This stage in the game, I don't really want to give him any breathing room, if you know what I mean. He can go back top here, perhaps. That's going to be a rough one. I can't hit that one. I'm not going to allow him to run. He just needs to get this wave under the turret as quick as he can. Dude. You're not leaving me with much of a choice here, yeah? Okay, good. At least I got that. Jesus Christ. Waving the turret there was gonna it was a lot slower than I was hoping it would be. He, the Diaso made a like decent choice there by like trying to hold the wave so it couldn't reach the turret, because that way he would have died every single time. But this like he was trying to kind of save himself a little bit, which is respectable. I feel like I should just be taking the Herald here. I have a lot of my camps up though. That's not ideal. If the Herald will just take the recall, I think, do my top lane topside camps and take a recall. I only have 10 out of 16 KP, which is pretty good. Three hundred gold. I'm gonna do my topside camps and recall here. I'm gonna have a lot of money to spend. I don't wanna like recall right away, because I at least wanna get these topside camps so then I can transition into my bot side camps and then go for like a bot lane play, dive type of deal without my topside camps being wasted. But at least getting these down is like quite good for me. It looks like Shen went bolt ET. Oh, never mind, ET beat. Actually, no, nah, never mind. I'm gonna recall. I get my Magi's here because I have the 10 stacks, get the boots, and then I will get a Amp Tome, I guess. Why not? Ooh, turret platings. I probably should have placed this Herald down mid lane, shouldn't I? Ooh, very nice Shen ultimate, actually. Very good save. That's what we like to see. Ah, uh, the turret plates are gonna fall, but I'm just gonna use the Herald on mid lane anyway, because it's gonna break the turret. I will not be able to get this in time, unfortunately, but it's fine. At least we're just gonna break first turret here, which is already good, and mid turret's already the, the good one to get down as well. What I'm gonna look for now is hopefully one bounce at least on this turret. That's all I care about. So we can just pressure just enough for the bounce. Maybe the turret, but I don't think so. I'm just gonna give him the attack speed here. And this is acceptable, honestly. We got the bounce on the turret. It's very good. I don't, I'm not complaining. He just used his E, so that's a pretty long cooldown. find that one completely. I have to flash for that. I misplayed that one pretty bad. Right. Good save there from this guy. I respect it. I'm gonna take his camps for it though, but I respect the save anyway. Wait. Interesting. 
<laughs> that was an awkward interaction, wasn't it? Ideally, they'd help me on Dragon here, and that would be preferable. Yo, can it... Please? Dudes, why are you... Oh, okay. Well, that's actually got a double kill. Oh, yeah. Why, man? <laughs> that sucks. At least I got that guy, that's good. I don't know if I can actually dragon now. I mean, I guess Zek doesn't have uh, his passive anymore. That's something. Oh, the enemy team FF. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's it for Italy. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to like the button below. Also, quite a bit. If you see more videos from in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Alright. Time for a Nidalee game. Why is everything so messed up with this positioning stuff? Oh, that's the swaps thing, isn't it? What is it, like this, I think? Okay, cool. Uh, time for a Nidalee game. I will be playing against a Twitch here, which is quite a good matchup for me. Um, he kind of picked that into me. I was first pick, so that's kind of a spicy one on his end. Did he go? He went for the red smite as well. Crazy. All right, well, I mean, in the early stages of the game, he's going to be more annoying against me and more difficult to deal with. But the second I hit level like three, four ish, he is basically dead. Five, six, like he, he's not going to survive that. I can just play extremely aggressive into his jungle. And yeah. Care for the level 2 chi. Pretty sure it's just going to be top and mid that I have to be worried. A bot lane, if he does that, he's definitely going to 3 camp. So that's going to take him more time. But yeah. Literally in his current season is quite decent. She is definitely difficult to play, so... If you're like new to the game, I definitely wouldn't really recommend her. If you want to spend the time into learning Nidalee, she can be she can be very rewarding. So there is that. But definitely keep in mind that she is not easy to play. For the jungle clear right now, you have to make sure that you kite your camps, otherwise you're gonna take way too much damage, and that's something you can't afford. Also make sure, yeah, kiting your camps, and then on this side of the map, if you're starting red, you want to take your W second, because it's going to be more effective for clearing your raptors and stuff. If you're on the other side of the map, you want to take your E second, because that's going to be more helpful there. He did not respect it. He's dead here, I think. Oh, actually, Twitch Poison on... Yeah, he got out-healed. That's what I was expecting, and that's what I told him to be careful about, but it is what it is, I guess. probably do this. I'll try to return gank this so he gets some pressure from it. I highly doubt she has her flash. Oh, she still has her flash. Okay, cool. Good kill for Ezreal. Mm, I shouldn't hit the wave. Does he want me to hit? Okay, fine. If he wants me to hit the wave, I'll do it. I absolutely have to respect Twitch here, though. If he wants to do this, then I'll do it with him. He pinged for it, so... Otherwise, I probably would have just left the wave. I'm worried about Twitch at this stage, for sure. But it's okay this way. I'll accept it. Let's do that. In the jungle, I have quite a lot of mana sustained, so I could just run up here. I think this will be fine. He's quite low on HP. Oh, you're going the wrong direction. Please let that hit. Huge. That's actually huge. The Nasus Wither made that pretty easy. Yes, teleport. I'm not gonna like no, Maokai's TP as well. It's too risky to go for. I one shot that quickly. Keep healing myself. All right, looking pretty good. I was able to like counter gank the mid situation, put my S roll in like a reasonable spot, I guess. And then I was able to transition that into the top counter play, so the Maokai couldn't win that one. 
The Gnosis Wither makes Light Lightning Spears very easy as well, so that, that's pretty good for me. I mean, I'm already getting to the stage where the Twitch is starting to be in trouble. Because I'm almost at the stage where I could just hunt him in his own jungle. Just a matchup gap on that one. Good. I'll get this one cleared and then I'll recall and then I should have a pretty good back. I'll be level 5. Gonna be me in a good spot on that one. Good. A lot of gold here. Definitely need to make sure I buy, buy a Dark Seal on this recall. I'm probably just going to get Sorks here. I, I could get AP, but I have pretty decent base damage. Oh, come on. Fucking push forward. No, I don't want that. Come on my way. But uh, the mobility is going to help me a lot here, I think, in just hunting Twitch and just being on the map. So I'm going to get the tier 2 boots right away. In fact, warded. Yeah, did pay attention at the last moment. Oh, well. Unfortunately, no potential engage there. I have no bot lane. Um, oh, uh, let me rephrase that. I have no support that can actually make an engage happen. I have no thresh. I have nothing there of the sort. Like, he just let himself get hit there. An auto attack. I'm going to have to flash that one. Otherwise, I get hooked to death. That would have been bad. I saw his in entire like combo, like right as he was doing it. I just saw it in my head. I was like, okay, he's gonna auto attack, then do that, and then pull me in. So I take as many turret hits as possible. And I just had the flesh, like right away at the end there. They cannot disrespect the Twitch on that HP. I think that'd be too risky. I'm just gonna ping it out. Whatever they do with that information is up to them. If they die now, it's not my, not, not my deal, if you know what I mean. To make sure I keep clearing my camps here. The Jin actually took the Q there for the Nautilus, which I found kind of surprising. I was throwing it with the intention of hitting Nautilus, and Jin was just gonna run, but I will take those. The AD carry wants to die. They're not mine. Level 6, very good. I'm shadowing my Azreal right now because I have a high suspicion that Mr. Twitch is going to be in this area soon. If Vex walks up here or if he just recalls. Could be wasting my time here, but it's okay. I'll go for Scuttle into a bot gank transition if this doesn't work. Huge. I suspected something was gonna go on, so I was just gonna be like, okay, either Vex walks up and I go for the kill, or like the Twitch is gonna try something, and he did. Read him like a book. I have a suspicion I'm walking over a ward right now. I'm quite afraid to walk towards that bush because I have no idea where they are. They could just be literally sitting right there. My bot lane is not in a position to do anything to really follow that up, so I would just be dead. If I walk into Nautilus Hook, I would just die instantly, which is definitely not worth it, you know? Smite the scuttle and be safe. I'm... A little bit afraid I'm gonna get invaded here. Just gonna leave. They're converging on that position right there. Pretty sure Twitch is doing his red buff. Technically could have gone for his red invade, I suppose. But my priority on top lane wasn't particularly looking amazing for that situation. If I'm being honest. Doing quite well. I have 5 out of 5 KP. Which is obviously good. From mid, if I can make it there. Oh, that's warded, okay. That buff slow into a Q. I was initially trying to cut her off with the Q, but... Yeah, red buff slow there. I can just chase him down. He was never going to be able to outrun me because I have two, tier 2 boots on him. 
So it's going to be pretty free regardless. I feel like I should be able to get one plate here. Get some cash. Pretty good gold. Uh, this might be greedy. going to check anyway. He is in fact... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. This is a bad choice. I need to leave. My bolt lane's not going to be there. I can't do this. Twitch is going to be in the area because that was a resetting, uh, which means he was recently there. So I cannot afford to stick around because I'm just going to get collapsed. I will have no backup. No matter how much I would like that blue, it uh, would be not worth dying for, for sure. So definitely can't do that. Probably Twitch is like looking for mid right here. That's what I would be doing if I was him right now. There's a control art here, so the bot gank is plausible. I do have 3,000 gold, but this gank looks okay. I was hoping for that Varus ult to come in a little bit faster, but... Very good. That's fine. This is acceptable. Oh, we missed the cannon. That's kind of rough. I'm down to do dragon here for sure. Get the scuttle there as well. They can easily just start this up and it should be fine. I need, I need to make this my priority. Heal him. He didn't step in the direction I thought he was going to step. I still have flash, okay. Exhaust as well, eh? Uh, good, 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 good. Not bad. That's real rotated. We're looking good. I have 10 out of 10 KP, my guy. That's a uh, spicy situation to be in. This might be a very greedy grump, by the way. I'm telling you straight up, but I'm doing it anyway. I had a lot of money going into that play. Like, I am rich. Um, how much is the 32? Yeah, no, it's not worth it. I was considering going, um, like, seeing if I could go Majais, but I couldn't. I didn't have the money for it, so I'm just going to buy the alternator thing for probably Shadow Flame, I think. Because, yeah, Black Magic Penetration is going to be quite good here, I think. Seems like this Varus is going for some kind of AP build, unfortunately. I didn't really want him to do that, because that's going to be a lot more AP on the team that I didn't want. But it's probably the most common build. Oh, he took my airplay. Have I mentioned the elo of this game? This is like a mid-ish gold game. Like gold, like two-ish, three-ish. Oh. I don't know if I've mentioned that. I'm just going to say it again. In case I didn't. Or did. Whatever. I want to look in this jungle as much as I can. Do not want to give this man any type of situation to play the game. Good. Threw it right behind her because she was most likely going to walk back after doing her combo, so I just hit him. Oh, this game's not here. Okay, cool. That might mean he is looking for a top... Oh, that top gank is not looking good for me. I'm not going to lie. That Maokai is tanky as hell. I don't think I want to do that, honestly. I think I'm just going to let Nasus do his thing. Let's get the Rift Herald here and break the mid turret, I guess, perhaps. Oh, there goes my 100% KP. I mean, I don't... Obviously don't mind. My bot lane is winning now, so... Good. Was mid. Is this for vision? Shut down. Really? I should have placed that. I'm just gonna place it still. Fine. 
regardless of the third place dropping it's worth getting the mid turret no matter what like mid turret's always good so we're just gonna prioritize this down i'm gonna try to look for a bounce oh vex on bot lane oh, i see got him with an auto attack my night harvester killed him <laughs> we take those he almost walked into my spear but yeah that works as well i'll take it get the mid turret down because i can the vex went bot so the mid turret's essentially free second one as well the more mid turrets you can get down the better obviously because the uh, mid turrets are very very worth taking i think i'm actually just going to recall because i have a lot of money all right oh man i don't actually i'm gonna farm out a little bit more i want to get my shadow flame mmgis on the next back it's a bit greedy but i think i can afford to do it i'm gonna go bolt Walk through the bush here for move speed as well. I think I'm just gonna go behind them and just try to land a spear on them or something. They didn't keep stepping back. Interesting. Man, holy moly. What? 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 I could have sworn I took up my champions only thing. I guess I auto attacked the turret. Whatever. I mean, the Twitch just ran into me there, so I guess it's fine, but... Let's do this and take his blue. After this, I'll get my smite finish as well, which is good. Don't take this from me, bag of you, thank you. Oh god. I'm dead here, aren't I? Oh! Okay! Jesus Christ! That step back is unfortunate. Okay. I have no idea how I came out of that one alive, but I take it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> My back is going to be colossal as well now. Make sure I get the dragon before I press recall, though. Okay. So I can get my Majice here. If I would have bought the Magi sooner, that would have been quite nice, obviously, but it is okay. The Magi, and then I'll get the Shadow Flame into a large roll for Death Cap. That's a massive buy right there. I think that's in that's just completely GG. I mean, I already basically won the game by myself based on the 100% kill participation for like the first 12 minutes or whatever. But there is no way to come back from this. I'm way too strong now. Especially like Blue Smite as well, my tempo just goes up so much. You get so much extra tempo running through their jungle and stuff, clearing your camps. There's no way they can play the game anymore. That Ezreal ult did a lot of damage. What is this CC chain? That's not going to kill me, is it? Okay. Jesus Christ. Fair enough. Thought I was going to be able to kill the Maokai there, but he is very tanky. That's warded. Very obviously warded, actually. Can't man, I'm it just. An enemy has been slain. Oh, that's not the right form for that. Man, come on, really? Yeah, I figured he'd be in that bush. <laughs> I read the guy's mind. Easy game. Ah, oh, nice. Good. That's real to clean that one up. 
I think I, like the li highest likelihood of, so of someone being in somewhere, like I figured the dude was in that bush and I th just threw my spear at him and he died. That's kind of funny. Completely read him. Kill. Good enough for me. Minions made like landing anything pretty difficult, so. Magi stacks are racking up. Next item will be death cap here. It's going to spike my AP massively. And at this point in the game, I you can also see that I'm prioritizing every single one of this guy's camps as much as I can. I do not want him give him any chances. Team's doing well. Just heal him a bit. Just trap here. Wait a little bit, see if she goes bot lane. Might just be recalling somewhere. Walk mid, okay. I don't think she can run. Good. Just slow, walk up to him. No real rush to like land your spear on max range. Don't have to do any of that. I don't think she would have ever outran me because I have the blue smite as well. So when it comes to like chasing her in the jungle, she would have just died every time. Making sure here that I keep my jungle tempo up as well. Is that enough? Oh, come on. Missed, missed it by 100 gold. That sucks. So we'll quickly take wolves and then I guess I'll press recall. I definitely need to recall as soon as possible because I don't want to miss out on that AP spike. Way too huge. I take my romp as well, might as well, since I'm here. That way I could just recall out of base and run to dragon. Take the dragon as a priority here. Get my death cap, which should give me like 700 AP, I think. Something like that. Ah, uh, close enough. My team is picking up more and more kills by themselves, so my KP is going down, but it's fine. Oh no. Trying to get there, buddy. I'm trying. That dude's dead. That dude's also dead. Give him a heal. Give him a spear. Yep, good. I'll go take Dragon here, I think. Is Blue still here, quickly? Okay, this. I'm gonna just... Okay, they just FF'd it. That's fine. Lost item here. Probably a Lich Bane, maybe a Void Staff if you need the Magic Penetration, but if you don't need the Magic Pen, just go Lich Bane. And yeah, that's it for Nidalee. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to like button below. I'll spend quite a bit. If you'd like to see more videos from the future, hit the subscribe button as well, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. All right, so for the endgame sets here as well, I ended up doing 21.2k damage, which is very respectable. I uh, won most of the early game. My team eventually started just winning by themselves because of the lead they got. So that was quite good. And, and the longer this game goes, the higher this damage is going to be because Nidalee Spears, every time you land one, it's going to be like 1200 damage every time, right? So if it's like a 30, 40 minute game, hitting like 40, 50, 50,000 damage is going to be pretty easy for the most part. Uh, true damage, which is just smites. I didn't really do that much. 326. Damage to objectives at 27.7. They should always be high when you're playing jungle. Uh, healing done at 8.5. Damage taken at 25,000. Self-mitigated damage at 12.8. And then we have gold earned at 14k. And for the runes, Dark Harvest did about 2200 damage, which is very good actually for a 22 minute game. I did have a lot of kills though, to, to be fair, so... Yeah, this this goes up massively as well. Like spears will start one shielding when you have enough AP. So yeah, sun impact for a bit of extra damage. This is mostly there just so you can, the moment you W dive in, your Q is gonna do that extra bit of damage, which is generally good for the execution damage, or in closer fights or anything. Treasure hunter for some extra early game tempo with gold, and then transcendence and water walking. You can also go like any other secondaries really. Transcendence I like, especially later on, because the cooldowns were fun that matter quite a bit in close fights. Obviously, it wasn't much here, but it can matter a lot. You can also take, like, Absolute Focus, Gathering Storm, if you want, or Absolute Focus and Water Walking uh, to have a bit more damage that way. Or just go, like, Triumph and, like, 
the CC reduction thing there. If you are against heavy CC, you can also take like free boots, futures market to get a bunch of extra tempo there, but plenty of options. And yeah, that is it. See you guys in the next one. Bye.